So very briefly, I wanted to talk about the physics of the way that this instrument works. And I promise it will be very painless. There won't be any math involved. You won't even be quizzed on it. Uh, as it turns out, uh, all wind instruments, like a trumpet or a didgeridoo or a clarinet, they all work in fundamentally uh, the same way. This is a hollow tube. What happens is by buzzing your lips into the end of it, you induce what's called a standing wave inside the instrument. It's like a, a pulsating column of air inside this instrument. Um, it begins with the lips. That th that's the thing that induces it. Uh, it's also known as the fundamental for this length of tubing. Um, the pitch of that fundamental, the actual pitch that comes out of it, this is the, the basic sound of the instrument. The pitch is determined by the length of this tube, so that a longer tube will be a longer wavelength. It's going to be a lower pitch. A shorter tube would be a shorter wavelength and a higher pitch. The easy way to visualize this is if you think of uh, a pipe organ in a church, which has a huge array of tubes of all sizes. Each one of those tubes works the same way as this tube. It's been cut to a certain length, and it's going to, uh, each one of those tubes is each note in the chromatic scale. So the easiest way to visualize that is to think of a pipe organ in a church, which has a huge array of tubes of all different sizes. Each one of those tubes works the same as this one. They've been uh, cut to a certain length so that each one of those tubes represents one of the notes in the chromatic scale. Uh, there's been physical studies of exactly what goes on in an instrument like this one, and it is, gets very complicated, and we don't need to go into that detail. But I think it's important to realize that that's fundamentally what you're doing here. By buzzing your lips, you're going to create this standing wave inside the instrument, and that all the other sounds that come out of it are based on things that you do with your mouth and your voice in combination with that standing wave.